Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we are at the Best Choice Awards, just days away from CompuTex kicking off. It starts officially June 3rd, but we're getting an early look, a little bit of a sneak peek at what we're going to see at the world's best electronics fair. <laughs> at the Best Choice Awards, and in my hot little hands, I have a handheld 3D scanner. So you can see Happy the Dwarf there is spinning around, and then over here on the screen, you can see that the closer I go, it gets red, doesn't like that. The further I get back, it goes green to yellow, so orange is kind of the hot spot for optimal scanning of this 3D modeling that's happening right now. So the cool thing about this is that we're hoping that this will go into the home. So for 3D printing, for digital art, archiving, for game modeling, for all the things that you might need a 3D scanner in your house. But you can see on the screen here that the red is where it's actively uh, di digitizing the model and it's accurate up to 0.2 millimeters. So that's actually fairly good for something that is handheld and just kind of wobbling around in my hand. If you've seen 3D scanners before, uh, like they're like some of them are like big big boxes and so they're quite not mobile and a little intimidating but this one's pretty neat This is the model that we're seeing here at Computex. So I'm going to take a walkthrough of the OS on their existing versions. This is actually launched in Australia already. If we go through the settings, there's just four buttons on here. So this one will kind of recap the state of your health because they have a whole series of connected devices for monitoring uh, your, your elderly loved ones. So if we head back to the watch, if we press it twice, it'll read the time out or speak the time out to us. If I hold it down for one long press, you can see that I can go into the settings. So there's a whole bunch of more advanced things that you can do. But the reality is, is that the, 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 you know, my grandpa would be like, get that settings menu away from me, Nicole. All I really care about is making a phone call and dialing SOS. So those are some of the things that are available here. But what's cool for the caregiver is that there's an application that goes along with it. So it can give you the where info, so the name, the phone number, everything that's going on here. Let's just head back. The watch status, readings, SOS locator, tracker. So let's say that my my grandpa should be somewhere at a certain time. I can find out where he is. Uh, the, the watch also has a gyroscope. So say my grandpa falls over, uh, I can kind of find out if he's fallen over and if he's not moving. So there's pill reminders. There's all kinds of stuff for an integrated healthcare regime. So one company that we've seen before but we're excited to see again is Prologium. They make a flexible, cuttable battery. We have a detailed video of this word over here, but this is just a taste of how cool the technology they have is. We have the largest e-reader I have ever seen in my life. This is the DPTS-1, a very sexily named 13.3 inch digital reader from Sony. So this is enormous. Let's just open something up so you can get an idea of how quickly it responds. The thing is, it ain't cheap. This is 30,000 NT or 1,000 US dollars. But the thing is, it's one of a kind. And if you really like making notes on ginormous pieces of paper, that's my really good handwriting. <laughs> but anyways, it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool device. It has a home button, back button, and then we have some settings down here at the bottom. Uh, as for physical things on it, you, there's a pen holder up at the top here, a power button down at the bottom. On the back we have a micro SD card reader, and then there's a micro USB port for charging. 
we're gonna get an insane amount of battery time because it or the page turns because this is this is all battery on the back here it's incredibly light it's almost like I'm holding nothing so those were just a few cool gadgets a little bit of a taste of what we're gonna get at Computex 2014 we're gonna have eight people on the show floor we're gonna be doing daily wrap-ups so you guys don't miss a thing and we have several tricks up our sleeves and some really cool gadgets that we cannot wait to show you so I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks here at the Best Choice Awards just days before Computex. What?